Seth, I know what information is in the general sense, but also in the computational sense with bits on, off kinds of things. But as a physicist, what, what do you need to know to understand the real essence of what information is? So information is physical. This was Rolf Landauer's slogan. Landauer was a physicist at IBM who worked on how information gets processed at the most microscopic scale. He worked on computation, but he also worked on heat flow, electrons moving from here to there. And Landauer's idea came from a very old idea in physics that dates to the 19th century. Um, there's a quantity in physics called entropy. And at the end of the 19th century, folks like Maxwell and Boltzmann and Gibbs were trying to figure out what the heck is this entropy stuff anyway. Now, what is entropy in, in a generalized sense? It's the measure of order or disorder in systems. Well, so, so entropy, to begin with, was just something that gummed up the works of heat <laughs> engines. Like, right, you know, right. it always increases, you can't get rid of it, and it prevents you from getting all the energy out of a steam engine that you'd like. Right. So Maxwell, Boltzmann, and Gibbs were asking, well, what is this entropy stuff at a microscopic level? And they realized it had something to do with the degree of disorder or randomness in the motion of atoms and molecules. So they're trying to characterize how much disorder there is you know, when steam gushes out of a valve in a steam engine or when that wave back there crashes on the shore. And they realized if they could kind of count the number of states of these systems, number of possible configurations, and then look at how many bits it took to label them, that entropy was essentially proportional to this number of bits. Now, they didn't actually know about bits back then. <laughs> bits weren't coined uh, as a phrase, a binary digit or bit, until the 1920s by John Tukey. Um, but, but, but the quantity they came up with to measure entropy was actually number of bits to describe the atoms in the wave as the wave crashes on the shore. Um, so these guys, these physicists, were essentially discovering that entropy was information. So a fundamental physical quantity that governs how heat engines behave and how heat flows and how thermodynamics takes place was in fact at bottom information. Entropy is bits. And so what is the, what, what, what is the, the deep meaning of that? How, how do we then take it forward? Well, I don't know how much deep meaning it has. It's really just a fact. They like said, oh, hey, here's this quantity and this is entropy. But how Well, it does sound significant because if entropy, as we know, has some fundamental uh, 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 quality in the universe in terms of the early universe, low entropy and increasing, and all these things, and if that is truly bits and information, that gives substance to the concept that information somehow is, is deeply entwined within the the foundations of the world. Oh, well, it's that certainly fair? deeply twined within the foundations of the world. I just, you're asking me about deep meaning. I'm not a deep <laughs> meaning kind of guy, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but one of the first implications, the things that came out of this, if you like, this deep entwining of information and energy at the foundations of the world um, is quantum mechanics. So, um, when Maxwell and Boltzmann and Gibbs first defined entropy, they said, well, we got to count these numbers of configurations and in classical mechanics, there's an infinite number of configurations. You know, particle could be here, here, or here. A continuum of infinite number of configurations, places it could be along the line. So they said, well, that doesn't work. So let's like set a scale. Like we measure the particle to some scale here, and we count those configurations, take the number of bits required to count those, and that's the entropy. Um, but then trouble arose when people were looking at electromagnetic radiation and trying to count the number of configurations in electromagnetic radiation. It seemed like that number of configurations was still infinite, even if, like, you know, set some tiny scale. And in 1900, Max Planck proposed the notion that electromagnetic radiation was quantized. It came in chunks, which we now call photons. A photon is a quantized chunk of light. And if light came in chunks, then Planck was able to show that you could explain the amounts of radiation being emitted by hot bodies, so-called black bodies. And that at the same time, it also gave an absolute scale to the number of bits of information that were in any physical system. So if you combine this notion that entropy is information with the idea that things are quantized, everything comes in chunks, then all things have a finite, countable number of bits of information in them, 
given by the laws of physics. So you just need those two concepts, the concepts of entropy and the concept of quantum mechanics, things being in, in, in